allow Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is your love reading. If you like the reading, please be sure to click the like button and to subscribe. So this way any future videos that I post, um, they'll come right up on your feed. The subscribe button is on the bottom left hand side. Just tap on the red subscribe button and you'll be a subscriber. Um, if this reading does not resonate with you, uh, please keep in mind this is a general message. It's not meant for everybody. And please be sure to check your moon, rising, and Venus sign. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, Sagittarius. So we do have some Earth sign here. Capricorn, Capricorn Virgo, Taurus energy. We do have Air sign, um, which could be Libra, Gemini, or... Um, Aquarius energy, excuse me. We have four Earth here. A lot of Earth sign here. We do have um, Earth and Air. We do have a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some fire. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. Okay, so the underlining uh, message is uh, the lovers, Sagittarius. So um, you are very content right now. You are, you know, you're feeling like you have a soulmate connection with your person. Um, there is deeper commitment here, okay? Now, the first card we have here is the Hermit. So I guess you're in a little a period of um, where you're kind of pulling into yourself, having a little bit of self-analysis over um, your love life. You're having some issues with balance, okay? You're maybe trying to balance work and, and your marriage or your, your partner currently, all right? Now, I do have the Knight of Pentacles here, um, which is someone coming in and offering you something, okay? Maybe love, it could be money. I mean, Pentacles is generally money, okay? Um, but I feel like it's your spouse. Your spouse is coming in offering you something. We have the Hierophant here, which represents unity or marriage, okay? So, you know, your spouse may be coming in and, you know, offering you more love. Maybe things are getting better because, again, we do have the energy of the reading is love. I mean, right now... Um, things seem to be going fairly well with your partner. You may have some, you know, trust issues from the past, but overall we do have new beginnings, new beginnings in love, okay? Um, I mean, pentacles generally means money, okay? But still, it is a new beginning. This is a love reading, okay? So maybe you may have had some issues in the past where you're a little worried about, you know, are things going to stay like this, okay? That's why you're analyzing a little bit. Um, you're trying to juggle everything so that things stay the way they are because apparently right now things are very good in your relationship. It's a, it's a new beginning here, okay? So we have the Empress manifesting. This is what you've prayed for. You prayed for peace in your relationship, okay? Now, here we have um, the Hermit, which can be Virgo energy, and we have an Earth sign here, which is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, okay? So... You may be thinking about something, Sagittarius. You, you have a vision here. It looks like you're looking at, um, you know, money. Money is pentacles, okay? So even though your love life is going really well, your, your mind is on money right now. Your mind is on trying to balance finances, okay? Now, whoever's coming in um, and offering these finances, uh, there may be a secret here, a secret that's going to come out, okay? I'm... I'm I don't know if it's going to hurt you specifically. It could be a third-party situation here. I don't see any relationship problems, so I don't see this third-party relationship having to do with an actual relationship. Um, being that this is the Pentacles, I feel like there may be some, you know, something happening with work. There might be some truth exposed with work, um, which is causing you to have to work a little bit harder and juggle. You know, you're trying to juggle your marriage and, and your finances, which is going to be hard because right now you have this new beginning with your with your person. You have this new beginning with this person that you love. I mean, things are going really well. Um, and if things, you know, aren't, aren't going well at work, it could affect your, your home life a little bit. So you are guarded. Um, 
again, because of the past. You see this person, this is a person that just got done fighting. Uh, the fight is leaving, okay? The fight is leaving and you're looking past you. So um, maybe your relationship may have been very rocky in the past, but things are going really well now. I mean, you are a little bit worried. You are a little bit guarded because you don't know if things can change. But I mean, you're, you're so far so good, okay? So we have the, the Knight of Swords coming in. Swords is an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, someone's coming towards you, Sagittarius. Someone's coming towards you, okay? So it, it could be that your partner is, you know, very loving towards you because, I mean, they're coming towards you and they're coming towards you hard. So being that the energy of the reading is soulmate connection, I mean, maybe there's just more passion in your relationship right now. There's more love. I mean, your, your partner is seeking you more, okay? Now here we have the Six of Pentacles being um, being clarified by uh, reconciliation. So I do feel that you and your partner are, you know, um, reconciled. A lot of things may have happened in the past in your relationship, but you're learning how to balance uh, your marriage and your other responsibilities, okay, which may have been a huge problem in the past. Uh, maybe you ignoring your partner, focusing too much on work, um, you know, but now you're, you're learning balance. You're learning, you see here, you've got a, a family focusing on children, focusing, and this is Scorpio Pisces Cancer Energy. Okay, so you're, you're maybe focusing on your partner a little bit more. It's reconciliation. It's it's good tidings. All right. So here we have um, the Hierophant, and and that is clarified by the King of Swords. Okay, so this could be your person, Sagittarius. Okay, so this person is they're they're very um, closed off. I want to say they're very guarded. Okay, so this could also be your person here that's very guarded. This may be vice versa, okay? So this may be your, your person here that's very guarded that might be having some, you know, issues that are going on at work. Um, but either way, I mean, I have to say there is a new beginning here and things are getting better now. I feel like all of this is, is more from the past and, and you're moving into new beginnings. So any fears here or any issues are stemming more from past issues, okay? So we have the Ace of Pentacles here, and this is your new beginning, and this is what you this is what you were looking for. Okay, this new beginning in money, this new beginning in love, this new reconciliation, this new soulmate con connection. This is what you know you were manifesting this whole time. Okay, um, you know you're looking out here. You have the world in your hand, and you know you you thought about it, you prayed about it, and and it's here, Sagittarius. All right. Now, here we have uh, the Magician card, which is prayer and manifestation, and that is clarified by the Six of Wands. So, Six of Wands is communication. Again, prayer, you speaking about what you want, the things that you want, okay? So, Sagittarius, you prayed for these things, you manifested them, and this is reward after the fight, okay? This is someone who's been through a lot. They're, they're like coming back from war, coming back home, they're being praised, they're being rewarded. And like I said, I really feel like this is your spouse coming to you, telling you, you know, thank you for staying by my side. Thank you for, um, I said spouse, but I, you know, I say spouse because we have the Hierophant here. So I feel like this might be a marriage or a very deep commitment. This might be someone that you're engaged to. Um, but your person is going to reward you for, for the time that you've put into this, for standing by them throughout all these times of heartbreak and all these times of, you know, all these times that they have done things to hurt you. It's all coming to a head now. It's all coming to a head now, and you, you prayed for this. You prayed to have more balance in your life and in your work. You prayed for these good tidings, okay? And I mean, here we do have a windfall of money coming in. So, I mean, new beginnings, new beginnings in love, new reconciliation, new money coming in. Everything looks really great here, Sagittarius. Yeah, we have the King of Wands here, which is, you know, a worldly guy. This is a free-spirited guy, so this may be your partner also. We have inheritance through through marriage. We have money coming in through each other. You guys are both doing really well financially, all right? And we have the chariot. You guys are moving, you know, you guys are moving forward in life. You're moving forward in your relationship. This is really a beautiful reading, Sagittarius. We really have, I mean, we have a lot of you know, suffering in the past, but overall, I mean, prayer, manifestation, you manifested it. You have a really great marriage. Your partner is seeking you out more, or you're seeking your partner out more. We have balance here. We have money coming in. You know, we have, we have it all here. All right. So let's see what messages we have from the angels. 
This is the most peaceful reading out of all the zodiac signs, Sagittarius, regardless. <laughs> it's a really a beautiful reading. Lots of love here. Just overall good feeling, good times, you know, I feel like happiness is finally here. Like you guys have been through a lot and you're finally reached the level of happiness. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, so we have healing family issues. We have religious factors. And we have reconciliation, Cancer. It doesn't get any better than that. Okay? And here we have passion is the underlining energy. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. What did I tell you? You are seeking your partner. Your partner is seeking you more. You're developing a new passion for each other. Okay? So here we have healing family issues. As I said, um, you know, reconciliation. Look how beautiful that family looks there, okay? So we have new beginnings. We have all this heartache, Sagittarius. All of this is gone. All of this heartache is gone. You know, we just have these beautiful, beautiful new beginnings. Everything is starting afresh for you guys, uh, um, Sagittarius, okay? So here we have religious factors. As I said, um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You manifested this. You prayed hard for it. You prayed very hard for this. This is something that you were really, this is a vision that you really wanted, Sagittarius, and it's coming to life. Your marriage is healing. Your finances are healing. You've got money coming in because you stood by each other's side. You have, you know, new beginnings in, uh, in finances. Where's the Ace of Principles? You've got new beginnings in finances, and you have reconciliation. You have reconciliation, Sagittarius. It's at, this is the most beautiful spread in the whole entire zodiac this month. You are just... I can almost feel the weight of how much you've been through, and everything is just falling into place. Very beautiful spread, Sagittarius. Well, if you liked uh, your reading, please be sure to like and subscribe. Again, the subscribe button is right on the bottom left-hand side. I hope to see you on my channel soon. Have a great day.